Hi everybody. Today we're going to make a tortiere and I don't know if you've ever eaten a tortiere. It's a French Canadian for meat pie and we typically serve them around the holidays uh, over Christmas and that's traditionally when you see these recipes uh, on the blogs or else and to use the top pie shell uh, for uh, a decorative crust. So we're gonna make our tortier together using the Instant Pot for the filling and then we're going to use this little adorable maple leaf cookie cutter and decorate the top. So we're gonna do that together. So I hope you're on board and uh, stay tuned and I'll be right back. So we need to chop some vegetables. It calls for a cup of celery, two large onions, but I like to use a sweet onion, so we're just going to use this uh, large sweet onion and also a cup of fresh parsley. And the thing that I love about tortiere, um, the French Canadian meat pie, is the spices. So we have here a mix of cinnamon, nutmeg, and ground cloves. And the smell when this tortiere is baking, you'll love it. So we'll do the chopping together. I always like to get my ingredients ready and I use these little white bowls. My husband Mark actually got me on to using these. And uh, I'll put a link down below for you to buy them on Amazon. They're really inexpensive. So let's get started and we'll uh, chop up the celery. Okay, we're back. The onions all chopped. I love this little uh, scooping tray and I'll also put a link to this uh, in the notes below. Um, another one of our kitchen gadget finds. And then the only thing we have left to do is to chop the parsley. Mm. I'm not going to dirty that measuring cup. That's a cup. I'm sure it's a cup. And now the front part. We're going to put it all inside the Instant Pot. So this recipe is beef and pork. So you just have to take your ground beef Now, I couldn't find ground pork, so I bought some delicious sausages, and we're just going to slit the casings and put that in. And the recipe calls for about three and a half pounds of meat in total. And you can mix that up any way you like. If you want more pork, uh, traditionally French Canadian tortiere, it was mostly po uh, pork based. So you can see all the meat mixed in, uh, the uh, beef or hamburger and the pork sausage. So now we're going to add our ingredients. So I'm going to add the spices first because we want that to get right into the meat. So this is ground cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So we'll put those in. We also put in herbs de Provence, which is a mix of basil, savory, fennel. Uh, it's just a really nice blend of uh, dried herbs. So there's three teaspoons of that, and of course a little onion got in there. The mixture takes two thirds of a cup of large flake oatmeal. And that's a binder, a bit of a binder to, to help with the mixture. So we're gonna put that in. Three teaspoons of milk. 
an egg yolk. I'll mix that up before I add the vegetables. It takes a cup and a half of filtered water. A little pepper, a little salt, a little more salt. And we'll just mix this up. Oh, the spices smell awesome now just on the raw meat. Okay, and now we're going to put the parsley, onion, and chopped celery. There we go. So I'll just flip the camera and we'll get it set. Hi there, we're back. So I'm just gonna tip, you can see now all of the lovely meat and vegetables are mixed inside our pressure cooker, our Instant Pot. And uh, if you don't have one of these, you probably might want to put it on your Christmas list because they're just an amazing product. And it's not just about cooking uh, soups and stews and chilies like we used to do in, in slow cookers or crock pots. I've made cheesecakes in this thing and they are delicious. So be sure to check that out too. So we're all set. You have to make sure that the little uh, handle, hopefully you can see that, is set to sealing and you just put it on and then we're going to set it to meat stew and it already says 35 but we're going to knock that down to 20 and it will automatically start itself. Once it stops, there, see? Okay, so now it's started. I've got the seal button, and we're good to go. In 20 minutes, we will have a delicious tortiere filling for our meat pie. So we're now back to finish our tortiere. I've uh, removed the liner, it's still a bit hot, from the Instant Pot and we have all of our lovely tortiere filling in there. It's delicious, it's still steaming a little bit. So you may want to let that cool a little more, but I'm going to go ahead. I also have this amazing tool. It's a uh, hamburger chopper. And so what I've done is I've just gone around very lightly and broken up any hamburger that, uh, or ground beef or pork that might still be lumpy, because we don't want that. We want to have a nice, smooth filling. So I took the Tender Flake pie crust and uh, I just removed it from the aluminum pie plate. And so I just removed it, kind of flipped it over and put it inside my greased uh, pie dish. So this is what will hold our lovely tortiere filling and then we're going to cover it with beautiful maple leaves. So let's do that now. And these are deep dish frozen pie shells. I'm gonna make sure you get those. got these cute little leaves. I want to build on top so I'm going to start in the middle. Okay. 
And don't worry if your leaves start to come apart because they'll be covered. And the mat, the silicone mat that I'm working on, this is actually the Dough Easy rolling product mat. And uh, I've got a YouTube video about that. You can see it in my Razzleberry Pie recipe. I hope you can see that. I'm not gonna tip it up too much. I'll just move these things to the side so that you can see it. And so now we're going to put an egg wash all the way around the edge on the leaves and get it in the oven. So here's the egg wash and if you don't know, it's just an egg yolk and a little bit of water. Beat it like you would an egg and just brush it on. And this really helps the pie crust get very golden. And that's what we want. You can just smell the spices, the cloves, the cinnamon. It really is amazing. So here is our beautiful tortiere. Just gonna try. Hmm. Oh my goodness. That is so good. You can taste the onion the spices, and they're not overpowering. You could, the smell is just incredible. And the, um, the mixture of the beef and the pork, really nice. Mm. What is so wonderful about these meat pie recipes is that you could make them full size like we did here, or you can make mini, like almost like a, a meat pie tart or like those little meat pies we used to get, and you can freeze them. And then you just pull one out when you need a quick supper, add a salad, and you're all set. I hope you've enjoyed this, and be sure to uh, come back and check out more recipes. Thanks for spending time with me today. I really appreciate all of you, and look forward to baking together again.